Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, we're in with uh, episode number six. It's been a while, haven't uploaded uh, an episode in a while. A lot of things happening. Um, we've redone our kitchen here at home, so that, that took a lot of time out. Um, didn't really have my setup going on and uh, yeah my wife actually gave gave birth to our little our little baby girl so yeah quite a th quite a few things happening but um, yeah we're back um, hopefully can get some more episodes out and uh, yeah like I said long overdue but yeah we should be back for now so yeah just have a look at the schedule for this for this episode um, I think we've got about five or six games lined up as well as the the January transfer window heading over um, in a couple of days and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna probably gonna sell off a couple of these guys, um, try and rebuild the squad a little bit. Really been struggling in the league, and yeah, like you guys know, we've been watching. Um, Seppi has not been the greatest of goalkeepers for us, and he's just let us down one too many occasions. So um, yeah, definitely looking at getting a new goalkeeper. I have no idea. I don't know what you guys feel. Maybe send send a couple of comments in the in the comment section and just uh, let me know which which guys you think we should go for. Um, of course, we've got some good young Italian goalkeepers that's coming through, and would be awesome to to get them on board. Hopefully, like, like I said in the previous episode, Scuffet, uh, Simino Scuffet, we I've had him in the in the previous pace titles, and he's been really really good for me. So I wouldn't mind bringing him in. Of course, he's Italian, he's young, he's tall, um, and I think he progresses quite nicely as well. Um, would be nice to get a, a more experienced goalkeeper, Bravo or or Buffoon, but um, let's see what happens. Yeah, so first up is uh, Lazio, and uh, I'm quite over Seppi, so I've, I've actually gone in and put our, our second choice goalkeeper, um, Frantalia, I believe his name is, and uh, he pulls off an immediate brilliant save. So, yeah, so far so good already, Seppi, um, out of the squad. But yeah, as you can see, uh, uh, Lucas just diving in within the first 10 minutes of the game, and he gets a red card. It was definitely a red card. Studs were showing, and uh, I'm hoping we can... Uh, pounce and really get a result out of this game Lazio obviously a strong team in the league and we do just that we break through brilliant through ball here for Zaniola and of course a great save there um, we build the ball up quite nicely down the wing again outnumbered of course Lazio Zaniola playing great through ball through uh, Keen just slots it in and past the the goalkeeper easy 1-0 lead and uh, we look on to get a three points which is much 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 needed um, of course uh, Lazio trying to build something back here they create a very good opportunity and uh, a brilliant block there the ball lines up again and of course Frantali brings off an absolutely brilliant save when we needed the most and uh, I don't want to compare him to Seppi but uh, so far he's been pretty good and uh, another through ball here forward for Keen. Keen just lays it off of course a little fake fake shot there and uh, left foot shot and uh, Keen gets us the three points next up is Udinese and uh, it was a great game as well creating much more better opportunities lately uh, great build up here one touch football and uh, Jovinko just slotting at home this time really really good build up play um, we'll just take another look at that nice one touch football here down the wing another little fake shot there and uh, slots at home easy 1-0 up Udinese building back into the game, um, not not going down without fighting. They whip it in, and of course, just loops it over the keeper. This time, Frantelli not doing, not being able to do much there, and ends in a 1-1 draw. This time, Babubakar breaks through, playing against Sassolo, yeah, smashes it past Frantelli. We uh, we center and we go on and try and pounce quickly. They're still sleeping. They're still celebrating the goal. And uh, Javinko just lines it up here, lays it across, and a little jammy goal there from Keane. But I'll take it nonetheless. This time, uh, Sosolo breaking through, a little bit outnumbered. They pounce on the counter attack. No one's mocking the guy in the box. Managed to get back, but it's not enough, and just slots home the header. We 2 1 down. And yet again, as we center, we build it up a little bit. We wait for our strikers to go a bit forward, and uh, we manage to get the, uh, a nice through ball here. Um, with Jovinko getting onto it through to Kuchka. Kuchka lines it up, he's dribbling, takes a one or two on, lays it off, one touch through ball, and Inglesia with the finish this time. Two goals in quick succession after they score, and uh, another good build up play here from us. Uh, Kuchka really getting involved there, keen playing with the with her assist there, and Inglesia getting the finish. Yeah, Barella getting the, pushing the ball forward this time for Inglesia. Inglesia lines it up and could have won it there for us. 
ends in a 2-2 draw. We're up against the big guns of Roma. And, uh, of course, Zanio playing against his former club. And uh, Pratelli getting off a brilliant save there once again. The second-choice goalkeeper really coming through. And, uh, of course, Zeko not going to stop that. He just smashes it home. Um, with a nice little through ball there from under this time Al Sharari on the ball great save again by the second choice goalkeeper and uh, He's really really coming to coming to the party and stepping up to the plate and uh, we go on and counter-attack from that save and uh, Bia Biani moving the ball nice and quickly forward. He plays off Keane. Keane with the fake shot and just slides it past the keeper and we're back in it. It's 1-1 Great little finish there from Keane uh, Roma pouncing again um, a little bit of mistake here from, from the defender here. He loses the ball, but of course Brantelli onto it and makes a brilliant shot stop there and uh, allows us to be in the game still. This time we're crossing the ball out wide, laid it on the floor, and it's that man again, Jovinko, this time just slotting it home. It's been working well for us, sliding the ball on the floor from the wide. Um, Pratelli just losing the ball out here, but he makes a mince of it with a great save there from under. Um, yeah, so we 2-1 we up in this one. We're moving the ball out wide again. This time Keane lays it off for Jovinko. One touch and just slots it home. I love that little animation uh, uh, from the side foot finish. He just one touch and passes it past the keeper. We 3-1 up and uh, we go on trying to trying to hold on to the lead. And uh, Prantelli just holding it on there for us. Makes a big, big mince of it. Boots it out and we get the 3-1 win and uh, really, really needed those three points. Next up was Atalanta and uh, Jovinko, uh, sorry, uh, Zaniola winning the free kick there. And um, you know who's going to take it. In the last episode, he missed about six, but um, it looks, looks promising with Zaniola again. Back with his free kick boots on and uh, he's slotting at home. He's back. Um, and hopefully for good <laughs> we really needed those free kicks in the in the couple of the matches in the previous episode if you didn't watch it um, he missed quite a few of them but yeah um, Atalanta really not into this game we, we made up one or two brilliant uh, build-ups but have a look at this Keane just absolutely smashes it with a brilliant build-up play this guy Keane has really come to the party and of course Zaniola the two young guns in Italy they're really really coming through fast and if you can just have another look at this one touch flick up over the defender chest past the other and just smashes it brilliant goal there from Keane and we 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 get the 2-0 lead um, this time uh, Atalanta breaking forward and a clear dive from Gomez take another look at the at the replay this is absolutely atrocious um, Gomez actually ended up diving in this in this incident and uh, Bastoni I think it is tackles him you can clearly see he doesn't foul him and Gomez goes down but he wins the free kick and uh, Prantelli um, in the goals of course for this match and he makes amends of it and the second choice goalie not beaten yet and uh, yeah, great save from the penalty there and uh, of course Atalanta just break through one of those first time shots very difficult to to stop but yeah that's the end of the the highlights on this one we've had played six matches in this in this episode um, Keane getting five goals in this one really really helped us and I didn't show the highlights of the Frasoni game but we ended up losing 6-2 so that was quite a big beating but um, we beat the Roma and Atalanta the big guns so yeah, really, really starting to push up the league now. Um, two players will be retiring at the end of the season. Bit disappointed in that because uh, Barella was really one of my starting team uh, players. And there you can see we've actually dropped two positions in the in the in the world in the world standing. So yeah, not off to a good start. But hopefully we can can really push on now and and start getting some results. The the team spirit's looking a lot better, and we've moved up even the table a little bit up to 13th position. So yeah really starting to find our feet a little bit trying to see what the right players you know uh, playing the right positions and things like that and um, of course we've got uh, Zaniola and Keane up there with the top goal scorers for the league um, this is at the end of uh, December so this is halfway through the season and uh, Keane still got the lead in the, the assists ranking and yeah halfway through the through the year um, uh, we've got the the trans uh, January transfer window up next um, in the next episode. So please, guys, just uh, send some comments down below on who who to get. I'm a bit I'm a bit uh, unsure on who who we should go for in the goalkeeping department. I would like to maybe get maybe another midfielder because Barella's uh, leaving. Um, another good holding midfielder would would help a lot. 
and uh, could really push us push us onto the into the next uh, next phase. But yeah, like I said, we've got Scuffet and uh, this young uh, centre mid from Inter Milan um, could could get him in. He could really really push us to the next to the next level. So yeah, thanks guys for uh, tuning into another episode. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'm glad to be back. And yeah, hopefully get some more some more content coming out before the release of PES 2020, which I'm quite looking forward to. That um, hopefully any breaking news. Um, hopefully I can cover it onto the channel as well. Any updates? But yeah, thanks guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks guys. Cheers. Thanks guys for watching, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, the two previous episodes as well. So um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Cheers guys.